Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication, a company of UC Collaboration. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this particular lab, I'm going to show you how to deploy Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise as a router. Now, in the previous lab, we have done uh, set up the EC uh, the instance for our uh, client. So now, what we're going to do is using the web setup on your desktop. You would you would log in using the administrator account. Now on the left hand side where it says component management, now the previous lab we have done the instance management as you can see if you click on that you should see the instance that you have created for this particular lab. Uh, if you click on the component management on the other hand is where all your router logger, um, sorry router logger and administration servers are listed. So on the left hand side is you click on the routers and then you click on add new. Now you can select the instance that you would like to create the router for. Right now there's only one instance so therefore you don't have the option to select anything uh, other than what is there. Uh, you decide whether you want the uh, site A or site B in this lab. Now obviously we're doing site A first so which is simplex uh, setup. So in this particular edition. So you can uh, click on next. Now in site A, uh, because we don't have any redundancy concern, we can just keep the same name for all the uh, host, host name. So both private and public interface will keep it the same name. So uh, because uh, in a simplex environment, site A does not have or any you know does not have any private interface for that matter. This is where we define how many peripheral gateway is supported in this platform. It is important that you select the right number of peripheral gateway, otherwise you're going to have to modify. Uh, if I say 1-4, that means up to 4 peripheral uh, gateways are allowed to install or uh, configure. However, if I, do, if I put this number in a sense like, let's say, 2-4, that means only 3 uh, peripheral ga uh, gateways allowed. However, the peripheral gateway ID must start with PG number 2 it cannot be PG1 because 1 is not in the range so it is important if uh, to, uh, how you write this uh, number so if I say for example 1-4 comma 8 uh, 7 